Shout my nigga Mikey T, the movie star. Me and OBH hit house studios right now. Get at it. Now flying with first class films. I wasn't really supposed to be the street guy. I was at like a place in my middle school, high school ball team. With the job court played for the ball team won championships. Just that I was from the hood, so once I got back there, got a job and everything. I made a decision though. I came back when I was 18, I was away. Going to school away. Came back when I was 17, I came back. And I'm sitting back, I've got a little job. And my cousin and my right hand man, they don't want to really turn me out. I'm sitting there watching them niggas make big bake rolls. I'm gonna all imagine being a motherfucker all day watching me thousands and you go to work. And my mom making like $170 a week. I'm like, I'm here all day with y'all. It's just as easy for me to make thousands. I'm, I'm with y'all. Why y'all making y'all thousands? I'm right here. These are my best friends, my cousin. I'm watching y'all make thousands. I could have said, give me that. I made a thousand. You know what I said? I said, no. That's why that's a the intestinal fortitude I got. Never went with the trend. I always did my own thing. I was I had a job. I done shot niggas and everything. I'm still going to work. Motherfuckers start just trying to like, you know, niggas got envious basically. Because I got locked up. My man said, I don't have nobody. And he said, I said, I'm here now. Fuck work. Quit my job. Right to the block. Now, and now we make it off the move. When we open our block up, nobody needs money. So it's like, who the fuck is this little nigga? Little ass? No. They got shot. We need parts of that. They look at me like a little ass. Little ass. need parts of that. No, they're not getting no parts of that. Shit got real. My man popped and his brother got killed. He quit. He said, man, I ain't fucked this block. I mean, I got enough money. Too much, too much going on. I said, leave it to me. Yeah. Left me the block. Block was doing 10,000 every day. That's what I did. So imagine a nigga, 17, 18, block doing 10,000. Everybody from every part of the area come to that block trying to take it. They never took it. So imagine what I was doing. Imagine the reason why he never took it. Imagine, nobody you know never took me. I was firing their ass up every time they came. One thing I know, everybody can shoot. Nobody likes getting shot. So when they shoot, you stand there and look at them. You give it back. You can see that fucking fear in the eyes. It gets out of here. Then you go to their block. Go to their block again tomorrow. In the morning, then the afternoon, then at night time. Then you get phone calls. Hey, I quit. I don't want no more. I need some too. All right, don't ever come around here again. And everybody can vouch for that. Everybody out there, they gonna vouch for that. Go take a trip down my neighborhood by yourself and ask niggas, who's ad? What ad? What's the ad doing? I'm gonna tell you. I ran my neighborhood. It's not no fucking fit. That's the difference between me and these other rap niggas. I own, I ran my shit. I wasn't, like, I'm not from the hood. I am my hood. I ran my hood. So, niggas can't say Ab can go back to his hood. This is my fucking neighborhood. Even if I make a, I'm a, I'm a million, you know, even if I ever make a millionaire rapper, I know I can go back. They still scared of me. It's not how I go back and check in with somebody. No, y'all gotta check in with me. I'm the dude that you gotta check in with. You know what I'm saying? It's different. You're like, I can go, niggas, even the even niggas can't go back to the old. I can go back to the old. I'm, I'm, me and my still cool with them niggas. No, I was the dude that everybody's scared of. So it's like, the monster's back. Y'all just giving them, thing, all they gonna do is make a monster rich. Not gonna make all my monsters rich. I could turn my savages to make them 